Hey what's up guys, Rev here. So if you've been on YouTube over the past few days, you may have come across a video titled Spongebob Anime Episode 1, Bubble Bass Arc. Now this video was posted by a creator named Narmak, and the video blew up instantly getting millions of views and attention, as well as receiving reactions and responses from a bunch of other YouTubers, largely praising how well it was made. And personally speaking, I thought it was a banger and it was clear a lot of work was put into this video. And it looked like a lot of work was put into it, because a lot of work was put into it. The original animation was a part of a project that took six months to make. The video even included actual Japanese voice actors in an original OST. It's just a fun, well-made video, but I think you know how this goes. YouTube detected not only fun, but original content, and they had to shut that shit down ASAP. Now, what was done to earn such a severe penalty, you ask? It was taken out because it violated YouTube's child safety policy. They were basically saying this was unsafe for kids. Well, yeah, it was never meant for them. And Narmak labeled the video as not aimed at children, which every creator does, by the way. There's only two options in that scenario. Label a video for kids and risk legal trouble and getting strikes for saying something is for kids when it's not, or say it's not for kids and avoid almost all of that. It's a no-brainer. However, despite this, the bots or whatever homunculi reviewing this video said otherwise and took it down entirely. And keep in mind this person now had two strikes on their channel, and I don't know what the first one was from, but for all we know, it could be from breathing on the platform at this point. But either way, one step away from termination. Now of course there's an appeal process for this sort of thing, and since the video got taken down, there was a great deal of attention on this situation. So clearly, the appeal was going to be handled with a smidgen of intelligence, right? Wrong. The appeal was rejected, which I would say is surprising, but it's YouTube, so it's not at all. Now originally when I was working on this video, it was still down. However, good news for once. Someone over at YouTube amassed enough brain cells together and realized there was a mistake and reinstated the video, in addition to removing the strike from the channel. Justice for the Spongebob anime. A happy ending to another frustrating blip on YouTube's reputation. Now the video has already been a great success, but this temporary removal has slowed down its progress. So I'm going to leave a link in the description. Give it a watch if you haven't. Screw it. A rewatch if you've already seen it. Let's help out this creator. I've always had a soft spot for creators getting treated unfairly by YouTube, and this is just another example, so go out there and support a talented creator. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.